Phnom Penh. This is the capital city of Cambodia, home to 2.1 million people. But it's also home to one of the largest dog populations in the world. And this city has an estimated total of between one and two children that die each week from rabies. So our mission over the next 10 days is to vaccinate every single dog we can find in this whole city and turn that stat around, make it one of the lowest in the world. Look out there, think of all the volunteers that we've got on this project, 12 different countries, about 100 of them have come over here. 250 final year vet students from Oak University and they're going to have to go to every single door, down every single street, visit every single house to vaccinate every single dog. So before the project started, we mapped out the whole of Phnom Penh. We have 120 vaccination teams across 771 vaccination regions. We have three hubs across Phnom Penh city, one north, one west and one south. And all of the teams are based out of there. I know it's hot, I know it's tiring. We've had a long week already. We've got one week left. Let's go. Woo! They start from the outskirts and move their way into the centre of the city. <laughs> this is all managed through the WBS data collection app and everybody is entering in, in data for every dog that they vaccinate, creating a map of all of the vaccinations that we can provide to governments and other local stakeholders. The 70% of the people driving this project are Cambodians doing it for their people and their country, led by their government. So what we need is them believing in this too. We need the people bringing their dogs to us, wanting it to happen. We have to have that community education. We have to have that government support and commitment to see it over the line for the benefit of the people who are affected by this disease. Okay, good work. Good, good. Okay, nice. We are welcoming uh, foreigners with open arms. So having a, an international uh, mission rabies charity coming like this is a great opportunity for Cambodians to work with foreigners, uh, earn more experience, like talking, speaking English and handling the as a vet. I feel like what we do here could make a long-term impression, especially when we start working with locals and these students are going to go on, they're going to be veterinarians in a year and, and we're, we're teaching them that this is important, we're showing them how to do it. And I'm really confident when we come back five, ten years from now, these guys are going to be carrying the torch. And involving the local communities is so essential to these projects, especially for sustainability. We're training up local veterinary students to work on this project alongside us, and then they, when they go into practice, will be the ones looking out for rabies and will be advocates for rabies control in the future. We smashed it, 210. Team of three, 210. Record. Record. Great day. Amazing crew, Jimong. Rock and roll, buddy. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. you. <laughs> yup, over here. Buddy, yup. Thank you very much. What a team. We're in that bish bash bosh. That's what it's about. So we've proven we can do this in one province. Now what we need to do is take all of this data, work with all the local stakeholders within this country, and show how we can expand this across Cambodia. Mission Rabies has been a huge impact but currently only in Phnom Penh. People have been telling me that next year Mission Ready is going to be coming back in Cambodia and going into provinces. It isn't done at the end of these two weeks. This is the start, this is the flagship to get everyone going and show it is possible to come up with something that's economically scalable that can ripple throughout the country. And if we can do this in 10 days, over 70,000 dogs, you know, you can see that doing the country is entirely possible. <laughs> it will cost us about £300,000 for this year's programme of work in Cambodia. Now, bang for buck, that's going to work out at about £3 per dog vaccinated, and that includes the vaccine. There's almost no 
disease control programs in the world that can deliver the kind of results we're delivering, the lives we're saving for that type of money. How much money do you put on a kid's life? We know one or two die each week in this district alone. So you can just roughly work out, we're gonna save about 100 children this year for 300,000 pounds. So what, three grand a kid, what do you reckon? Is that worth it?